So most afternoons we get out here and we give the chickens a bit of a treat by bringing them scraps from the kitchen. And today they've got watermelon and it looks like a lettuce and a few other things. They always come around when they're looking for scraps. So I'll, uh, I've got the other camera set up and I'll see you, let you see what that looks like. Very interesting creatures. Notice that watermelon is not their favorite. They're going after the lettuce, sort of. It's off to the side and now they're going for the cucumbers. The problem with the cucumbers is that if they are green side up or the outside rind out, they uh, have a tendency of not knowing what to do with them. You're seeing some of that. And so some of them are going back to the watermelon, or at least one is. Well, anyways, on to the next. All right, it's so later in the afternoon, the same day that I was picking potatoes. Uh, it's potatoes. Um, and I'm going to uh, see what I can do to uh, pick up some onions. It should go a lot faster because they're sitting on the top of the ground rather than having to grub in the ground. But I'll uh, keep the other camera on so that you can see my progress as well. I'll talk to you soon.
Okay, time to get out of the garden for today. Um, I finished harvesting the onions that I could find. And basically, <coughs> three five gallon pails. Some of them I put on top of the potatoes, but I'll take them off and uh, put them on the drying rack that we have in the uh, garage when we get there. Um, some of them look pretty good. Some pretty good sized yellows and a few good sized reds. And uh, we got a clump of surprise in the middle. So this is garlic, no fuck. And uh, yeah, so all in all, I think a successful day in the uh, garden. So I turned the water on in the hoop house. Just go and check to see that it's doing its thing. Should see some moisture down in the ground. Oh, look at that. So there's water dripping there. You can see mist. Maybe you can see a mist. Uh, I can see, definitely see a mist. It's coming up from the ground. And the sprinkler hose that we've got uh, there going all through three rows. Uh, tomorrow I think I'll get rid of the the uh, cucumber, but that's enough for today. And probably uh, we can leave the tomatoes until Monday when Trish is back, because otherwise they sit on the counter and they can't be processed anyways. So uh, we'll let the water go in for a couple of hours, and then we'll come out and turn it off. Easy way to uh, do the watering. I mean, we it's pretty dry. Uh, the ground is definitely not moist. It's uh, hurting for uh, for moisture. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of these. Those, these will turn into burdocks and they'll get into uh, Albie's coat and they'll be a pain to get out. Literal pain for him. Uh, but not necessarily the rest of us, except that it's quite difficult to get him to sit still because he doesn't like to have his coat uh, pulled at. I'm sure that is very painful. Anyways, so I'm going to sign off here. Again, uh, I'm the only one on the farm homestead uh, today, and uh, it's been sort of a, an overcast day. We're supposed to be getting quite a bit of heat. I think it did get up to about 25 or 26, and tomorrow we're looking into the 30s, apparently, for the next couple of days. Uh, a late blast of uh, summer. Anyways, uh, talk to you soon. Bye.